Niles, what is that sickeningly sweet, overpowering smell? The cologne you gave me for my birthday. <laughs> Don't you just love it? What's it called again? Testa. <laughs> Say, wait a minute. Cologne? What's that new oven mitts? And you're wearing a girdle. <laughs> Miss Babcock is coming on from the sanitarium. This has nothing to do with her. I'm wearing it because I pulled my back. Oh, yeah, sure. And I wear a wonder bra because I sprain my breasts. <laughs> Oh, what have we here? The proposal from the wedding planner? Oh, uh, yeah. Now, tell me, is the caterer going to be charging us by the person or by the couple? Well, after all the samples that me and Ma consumed, the caterer decided to charge my side of the family per person as a couple. <laughs> well, that's outrageous. The bartender's doing the same thing with your side. <laughs> really have to use this guy. I mean, I could plan this wedding myself. Oh, no, 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 no. We want it to be nice. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, uh, fancy, uh, uh, classy. Uh, <clears throat> when do they need the deposit? You don't think that I can make a nice affair? Listen, I know how it's done. You just need a very good theme, something that's elegant and understated. Starlight Express. Do you skate? <laughs> It's not that the Duchess of Kent wouldn't love to arrive at the dais on rollerblades, but <laughs> you're my princess. I want this to be the wedding of your dreams. But this is the wedding of my dreams. Sir, it's your brother with some urgent news. Oh, yes, Nigel, what is it? Oh, my God, I see. Yes, uh, well, thank you for calling. Uh, bye. What? Uh, that was Nigel. Uh, apparently, last night, my father passed away. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Hello, hello, I'm back! <laughs> well, what's with the sourpusses? Who died? <laughs> she was working in a bridal shop in Flushing, Queens, till her boyfriend kicked her out in one of those crushing scenes. What was she to do? Where was she to go? She was out on her family. So over the bridge from Flushing to the Sheffield's door She was there to sell makeup, but the father saw more She had style, she had flair, she was there That's how she became the nanny Who would have guessed that the girl we prescribed Was just exactly what the doctor prescribed Now the father finds her beguiling Watch out, CC And the kids are actually smiling Such what a thing She's the lady in red when everybody else is wearing tan The flashy girl from Flushing Let's have the Sheffields in here, please. Chandler. Oh, thank you. Sit here. I'm just so embarrassed. I mean, I hardly knew Grandpa, but I felt close to him after all those heartfelt cards his secretary wrote us on our birthdays. <laughs> she never forgot. Oh, you know, honey, just let it out. But at least you know what happened to your grandpa. Mine stepped into a magician's box in the Catskills and was never seen again. <laughs> Many years later, someone spotted him with a magician's assistant in Miami, but nothing was ever proven. Please be seated. First of all, uh, let me say how sorry I am for your loss. <laughs> oh, mate. It's okay. I cried like a baby, too, when I realized how much money we're going to inherit. Brighton, please. Not everything is just about money, you know. Really, Brighton? Have a little more sensitivity. It happens to be very traumatic when a man loses his father. He's no longer the son looking up to somebody. He's now the one that's next in line to die. It's lonely. It's aging. Thanks, dear. Lean on me, baby. <laughs> Anyway, getting down to business, your father left you all... What, the racehorses, the Ferrari, the country house in Tuscany? A videotape. Damn. <laughs> Brighton, please, look, your grandfather may have been cold, selfish and detached, but to me, he will always be sir. <laughs>